What if I told you the universe has a bug? Like an actual software glitch and we just found it. Okay, so first off, when I say glitch, I don't mean your toaster having a bad day. I mean the kind of glitch that makes physicists sit down, close their laptops, and stare into the cosmic void wondering if reality itself just hiccuped. Because apparently, the universe did something it absolutely should not have done. And now, we're all quietly pretending everything's fine. Spoiler, it's not. Here's the thing. Physics is supposed to be clean, predictable. You do the math, plug in the numbers, and the universe politely agrees. But recently, a few researchers were checking data from a telescope that watches deep space objects, and something came back that looked wrong. Not wrong, like we forgot to calibrate the lens, but wrong, like the laws of nature took a coffee break. Basically, the numbers didn't add up, the light didn't behave, and the math decided to flip the bird to Einstein. Now, before your brain goes black hole or quantum weirdness again, this one's different. It's not about some exotic new particle or gravity misbehaving near a star. It's about how time and light themselves seem to bend in a way that suggests there's a subtle bug in the code of the universe. Think of it like running a game on ultra graphics and suddenly the textures glitch out for a frame. Except the frame here is a billion years long and the game is reality. Imagine you're driving with GPS on and your map suddenly shows you slightly to the left of the road, just a few meters off. You think it's fine, but if that small error keeps repeating, the entire system slowly collapses. That's what this glitch could be doing. Astronomers noticed that light from extremely distant galaxies doesn't stretch exactly the way it should. The expansion of the universe, the redshift of that light, is slightly off, not by much, but by just enough that every major cosmological model starts sweating. See, we've got this thing called the Hubble tension. It's basically the cosmic version of a family argument. One group of scientists measures the expansion of the universe using nearby stars and gets one answer. Another group measures it using the early universe's microwave background and gets another. Both methods are solid, both make sense, yet they don't match. For years, people thought it was a just measurement error. But this new data shows something even more unsettling. It's not error, it's pattern. The discrepancy scales in a way that implies there's a tiny but consistent fault line in the structure of space-time itself. Wait, it gets weirder. The glitch seems to appear only when we look at certain directions in the sky. Almost like the universe has anisotropy, meaning it's slightly uneven. You'd think that's normal, but no. Our whole cosmology assumes isotropy, that on the largest scales everything's the same everywhere. Turns out, maybe not. Maybe the universe has a preferred direction. And if that's true, then the cosmic background radiation, the Big Bang leftovers, might be subtly skewed like a cosmic photo that's been stretched a pixel too far on one side. Now, you're probably thinking, so what? Space is a little lumpy, who cares? But this lopsidedness, if real, destroys one of the most sacred assumptions in physics. Because if the universe isn't uniform, all our equations about how it evolved and how it will end start to crumble. It's like finding out your calculator occasionally divides by zero and just keeps going, like nothing happened. Some scientists are calling it a topological defect, a fancy way of saying a wrinkle in space-time that shouldn't be there. Imagine stretching a bedsheet flat, then realizing there's one tiny knot you can't iron out. That knot might represent regions where the laws of physics slightly differ, and if this anomaly persists across multiple observations, it means the universe isn't just expanding, it's expanding unevenly, which might hint at a deeper, hidden layer of physics we haven't discovered yet. Think about it. Every time we found something that didn't fit, it cracked reality open wider. Quantum mechanics was a glitch in classical physics, 
relativity was a glitch in Newton's worldview. So maybe this one is the next big upgrade patch for the universe's operating system. The devs upstairs are debugging space-time. Okay, so what could cause it? The leading suspects are bizarre. Some researchers suggest that dark energy, the invisible force pushing galaxies apart, might not be constant. Maybe it's changing with time, or space, or both. Others think we might be seeing signs of another universe's gravitational influence nudging ours, like two soap bubbles almost touching. There's even a fringe theory that suggests reality itself occasionally recomputes at quantum scales, leading to small synchronization errors, like the universe's clock desyncing for a moment, then realigning. I know, it sounds like a physics fever dream, but the math supports that something truly off is happening. And we've reached the point where cosmologists are rechecking not just instruments, but assumptions. One of them literally said, we might have hit the edge of the simulation's render distance. Jokingly, of course, probably. Here's a thought experiment. Imagine reality as a 3D projection on a higher dimensional surface, like a hologram. If that surface warps ever so slightly, then the light we see from billions of years ago gets distorted. To us, it looks like a glitch, but in higher reality, it's just the texture stretching. If that's true, this discovery could be the first experimental clue that our universe has a hidden geometry beyond what we perceive. Pattern interrupt time. You know how your phone sometimes lags because it's processing too much at once? Now, picture that on a universal scale. A galaxy emits light. Space expands. Gravity tugs. Quantum fields ripple. Somewhere in all that chaos, a cosmic lag spike happens. And because everything else is consistent, that spike becomes a detectable anomaly. Congratulations, you just diagnosed reality's first cosmic lag. But maybe this isn't even about errors. Maybe the glitch is the feature, like the flicker in a candle flame that proves it's real. Because a perfectly consistent universe might be a dead one. The tiny imperfections, the mismatched constants, the unexplainable phenomena, maybe they're the fingerprints of something deeper, something that makes reality flexible instead of fixed. We've spent decades worshiping equations that promise certainty, but maybe the universe never promised to be perfect. Maybe it promised to be interesting. Every glitch we find is a reminder that we don't run the code. We just read it. All right, so here's the brain melter. If the universe does have an actual bug, even a microscopic one, it might eventually cascade, like a single flipped bit in a simulation that gradually unravels consistency. In theory, that could lead to regions of space where physics differs, like patches of reality that drift out of sync. It sounds like sci-fi, but some models already predict that different parts of the cosmos might operate under slightly different constants, Imagine walking into a room where gravity is 1% stronger and time feels thicker. Subtle, but terrifying. And now scientists are seriously discussing that our glitch might be the first sign of that boundary, a cosmic seam. If confirmed, it changes everything we think we know about cosmology, dark matter, and maybe even consciousness itself. Because if reality can warp at the largest scales, Who's to say it doesn't at the smallest? What if quantum randomness isn't random at all, but residual noise from the same bug playing out locally? Basically, the universe might be alive in the sense that it evolves through its own mistakes. Every anomaly births a new law. Every error becomes a seed for complexity. Life, consciousness, maybe even intelligence could all be byproducts of reality's built-in debugging process. The glitch makes us possible. All right, breathe. We've made it halfway through cosmic therapy. Now for round two. If you're still here, congratulations. Your attention span just survived theoretical physics with sarcasm. But let's zoom back out for a second. If this glitch turns out to be real, it doesn't mean we're living in the matrix. 
it means the fabric of space-time itself might not be continuous. It might be quantized, like pixels. Imagine zooming in on a high-resolution photo until you see the squares that make it up. That's what space-time could look like under a big enough microscope. Smooth to our eyes, but actually made of tiny, discrete units. Now, when those units interact, sometimes they don't line up perfectly. A few edges mismatch. That mismatch could be what we're seeing. A subatomic tear, scaled up to galactic proportions. Some physicists are calling it a discreteness anomaly. I call it the universe for getting to anti-alias itself. You know what's funnier? This whole idea loops right back into quantum gravity, the holy grail of modern physics. Einstein's equations describe gravity perfectly at big scales, and quantum mechanics explains everything tiny. But try to mash them together, and math has a nervous breakdown. This glitch could be the clue that unites them, because it suggests the boundary where both theories meet is fuzzier than we thought like an image blending two resolutions. Let's get philosophical for a second. If reality is code-like, maybe the reason we find patterns in everything, from atomic orbits to galaxy spirals, is because pattern is literally how the universe expresses itself. The glitch isn't breaking the system. It's showing us the syntax. We keep looking for grand design. But what if the design is constant self-correction? Reality learning about itself one anomaly at a time. Okay, but wait, there's more absurdity. Some researchers propose that if space-time is digital, then information is the true substrate of existence. Matter, energy, even time, are just emergent behaviors of information flow, which means that this glitch might not be in space at all. It could be in how information travels through the cosmic network like data packets getting slightly corrupted as they cross cosmic distances. The universe might literally have bad Wi-Fi, and yet, somehow, it all still works. Stars burn, atoms bond, coffee exists. Maybe that's the beauty of it. A perfect simulation wouldn't need repair, but an evolving cosmos does. And maybe, just maybe, consciousness is part of the repair loop. After all, who's noticing the glitch? Us. We're the error checkers built by the system to debug itself. I'm probably butchering the metaphysics here, but you see the point. Every discovery like this shakes the illusion of certainty. For all our equations and telescopes, we still don't know what space-time is actually made of. Could be strings, could be loops, could be math that's pretending to be physical. Or maybe, like one researcher joked, the universe is a badly optimized open-world game with great graphics, but questionable physics. Pattern interrupt time again. Did you know if you shrank a proton to the size of the observable universe, a quark would still be the size of a small town? Which means whatever glitch we're detecting at cosmic scales might have roots smaller than anything we can measure. That's like noticing a pixel flicker on a screen the size of the Milky Way. Here's the real kicker, though. When they modeled the data using the new measurements, the glitch disappeared only when they introduced a small variable that accounted for time dilation changing slightly over distance. Which, if true, means time itself isn't ticking at the same rate everywhere, even after you account for relativity. That's not supposed to happen. Time is already relative, but this would mean relativity itself is relative. Einstein just rolled in his grave, then paused, because time isn't consistent there either. So what do we do with that? We question everything, because maybe physics isn't wrong, it's incomplete, like trying to describe the internet using smoke signals. The fact that we're even capable of noticing this means our instruments and brains have leveled up to the point where Reality's deeper code is becoming visible through the cracks. And that's the philosophical part that hits hard. We always talk about meaning, consciousness, purpose, but maybe the point of intelligent life isn't to dominate nature. It's to notice the glitch, to witness imperfection at cosmic scale, and not look away. 
that's the most human thing imaginable. Because when you strip it all down, the universe might just be a story being told by its own equations, one mistake at a time. Every anomaly, every contradiction, every impossible measurement is just the cosmos laughing at our confidence. We think we're decoding it, but maybe it's teaching us humility, pixel by pixel. So yeah, researchers found a glitch in space. Maybe it's a calculation error. Maybe it's the start of a new physics. Or maybe it's the universe's way of winking at us. Either way, it reminds us of something profound. Reality isn't static. It's alive, unpredictable, slightly broken, and somehow still running smoothly enough for coffee and existential dread to coexist, which is kind of perfect. So next time you look up at the stars, remember, somewhere out there, space-time just misfired, and we noticed. That's not a bug. That's the point. If you want to keep spiraling down that rabbit hole with me, you know where to find me. But for now, let's just sit with the idea that reality in all its glitchy brilliance, might be the universe's most beautiful mistake. <laughs>